Hello, government class. Um, welcome to online school. Um, it's great to get um, fourth quarter started with all of you. Hold on, let me put my currently recording sticker on the door. There we go. Um, great to get to uh, talk with all of you. Um, I guess it's more talking at you rather than with you with the online format. Um, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to um, check in with all of you and let you know kind of what you can expect with this class moving forward as we shift towards a online style of school for the next um, set of weeks uh, as we keep kind of moving forward and onward in um, everything that's going on um, around us locally and nationally and globally. Uh, so, for this unit, um, we are actually starting our unit on Arizona history and government this week. Um, so, we're going to start first with a couple days on detailing um, the history of Arizona as a territory and then state, um, focusing on some significant events um, from the state's timeline. Um, so, to do that, I'm going to actually be sending you all uh, or posting up a link to an article that's on um, AZ Central. Um, that is a basically a timeline of some significant events from the state's history. Um, you are to go through that this week um, to read it for understanding. You don't have to write notes based off of it or write it all down. Just go through, actually read through that thing. Um, and then there is an assignment for you to actually type a response to and then submit on turnitin.com um, in which you are going to write around a paragraph um, maybe a little bit more might be helpful, one to two paragraph response typed and submitted in which you are going to answer the prompt. Uh, how does understanding um, the history of Arizona inform our understanding of the state today? Basically what I'm asking you to do is um, use some of the details you'll find on the timeline and just react to it. Um, write, a, write a paragraph or two talking through, um, knowing these things happened in Arizona history helps understand why Arizona is like this, or why Arizona emphasizes this, or why these industries are important in Arizona. Basically use the past to help interpret the present. I hope that makes sense. Um, but I'm just looking for you to interact with that um, article uh, and type up a little bit talking through um, how do you better understand Arizona today based off of Arizona of yesterday's past. Um, so that's the main aspect of what it is you're doing for an assignment this week. There also, on turnitin.com, is a discussion post for all of you to do in which you are going to be asked to um, look up what the five C's of Arizona are. Some of you know that off the top of your head. Um, but look up the five C's of Arizona, type them out, show that you know what they are, and then I want you to pick a few of them and do just a little bit of your own research on... Uh, why those few that you chose are part of the five C's in the first place, and how those industries have been significant to Arizona over its time as a state. Why those things are set as like the defining characteristics of um, why Arizona is a state. Um, so those are your main tasks for this week. I'll be using these videos every single week to either check in with you or sometimes teach a lesson with notes provided to all of you um, so that there can still be a little bit of a component of you hearing from me because I know that's the main thing you're all worried about missing out on this um, this week and the next few. Um, but anyways, um, I look forward to getting to work with you all online. Um, make sure, again, you're always going to use the Plus Portals class page as our home base, um, going unit based off of each week um, and reading through the lessons that are there to make sure you're uh, accomplishing everything. Um, but for this week, it's just a... Uh, a article to read, which is on the class page. There is then an assignment to type up based off of the article, which you submit to Turnitin. And then a discussion that you'll all have on Turnitin.com um, once you're done with all those aspects. Just trying to get our feet into the water, um, or maybe feet into the desert as we start to actually explore Arizona history together um, as a part of this class. Um, in the meantime then, Blessings to all of you as we keep moving forward. Um, I'm praying for all of you. I miss having you all in the classroom. 
Um, but I'm thankful we get to have this um, opportunity to still work together um, in this kind of a way. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, um, stay in your homes uh, as much as possible. It's a good thing to do um, as we keep moving forward. So if you ever have questions or clarification or anything, please do email me so that you don't get left behind or feel confused. I want to try to be as clear and helpful as possible with all of you during this time. Um, I think that's about all. So um, I'll see you all on Turnitin.com through your assignments and discussion posts until our next video check-in. Talk to you later, everyone.